This is the only university-operated rocket range in the world, Poker Flat, 30 miles north of Fairbanks. The range was started for an experiment in 1968 with the support of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, Defense Nuclear Agency, the National Science Foundation, and others. The range supervisor is Neil Brown. Placing a rocket into Aurora is not an easy task. We often wait several nights for the proper conditions to come along. The sound of a rocket going out could be quite startling to uh, the public if they didn't know it was going to occur. So we do notify the local newspapers, and the public in general has been very interested in the programs that have taken place from Poker Flat and have often observed the barium releases and the rockets going out of north of the, of the town itself. Attention all stations on my mark. We'll be picking up the count at T minus five minutes and counting on pad three. T minus five minutes and counting on pad three. You're going to get going, Mrs. Neal. What are you seeing? The arc in the south looks like it's increasing in brightness, Neil. Thanks, Jerry. Paul Helen and Esther Dole, Mrs. Neal. What do you have? Oh, the southernmost arc has brightened up quite a bit in the last few minutes. We could be a little bit late. Neil Davis, Esther Dome. This is Neil Brown. Do you want any holes? It looks good. Keep counting. Johnny for radar, Bob Hunsucker. This is Neil Brown. What's the U layer look like? Uh, I would estimate about uh, 3 times 10 to the 5th electrons per cubic centimeter. On my mark. T minus four minutes and counting on pad three. Mark. T minus four minutes and counting on pad three. This is poker flat. We're at T minus four and we picked up the count. Are we still clear for a launch into zone number three? Thank you very much. We'll call you when it's down. NASA radar, what's your status? Chad, you can PM? PM's go. Payload control? Payload's go. On my mark, T minus three minutes and counting on pad three. Mark, T minus three minutes and counting on pad three. Blockhouse is a Joel request permission to go to pad three after booster impact. Roger, stand by. Okay, thank you. Roger. Down. Down. Yeah. Do you have an update for the launch or setting? Yeah. 274773 of dome three. We're effective. On my mark, T minus five and counting on three. Mark, T-minus 2 minutes and counting. Bo, check with the roadblock. Uh, roadblocks 1 and 2, uh, be advised, we're at 2 minutes and counting. 2 minutes and counting. Roger, roadblock 1. Roger, roadblock 2. Neil Davis, Esther Dome. This is Neil Brown. How's it looking? The Aurora's moving around a little, but I think we're okay. Jerry, what are you reading? Uh, the intensity is uh, holding pretty constant, Neil, about 45 kilo really, so it looks okay. Chattanooga Radar, Bob Hunsucker, Neil Davis here. What's it look like? Same electron densities as before. Go ahead, Neil, count it down. On my mark, T-minus 60 seconds and counting on pad 3. Mark, T-minus 60 seconds and counting. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds.
stage looks really good. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. 16 second stage ignition. Okay, Jim, you're going to have to stop the stage motion. Really good. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, it's holding steady at about uh, 50 kilorelis, Neil. First stage is impacted. First stage is in. You're clear to go to the pad. All stations, the first stage is impacted. Second stage burn looks good. It looks like we've got a real good experiment. Okay, Elmo, this time's for real. Here we go. Let's get in the rocket canister. Sit down here and face the camera. And we're going to count down the rocket. Okay. Counting down Elmo on pad zero. Five, four, three, Two, one, zero. <laughs> Camera's running. Okay. All right. What is that up in the sky? It's Elmo. Elmo, thanks for dropping in. How are you? Mwah.